the NBA is not done with its controversial one and done rule yet, but it will soon offer an alternative to NCAA basketball for top prospects who could earn as much as $125,000 by playing in the minors for a year. The NBA G League which serves as a development circuit for the NBA, is creating a professional path beginning in the summer of 2019. Certain elite prospects who are at least 18 years of age will be eligible to earn six-figure paydays under the new system, according to G League President Malcolm Turner. Select contracts are an answer to the basketball community's call for additional development options for elite players before they are eligible for the NBA, Turner said in a statement. The supporting infrastructure surrounding these newly created select contracts is designed to provide a rich offering of basketball and life skills developmental tools for top young players to grow along their professional paths from high school to the pros. The one-and-done rule has been criticized by players, coaches, NCAA officials, and even NBA commissioner Adam Silver, all of whom feel it unnecessarily restricts prospects by requiring that they be one year removed from high school before they can enter the NBA draft. The G League's professional path program is aimed at top collegiate recruits, many of whom have come under scrutiny following the federal investigation into corruption within college basketball recruiting circles. During one ongoing trial in New York, parents, apparel company representatives, and amateur basketball insiders have testified about an underground economy aimed at bribing the families of top recruits in exchange for the players' commitments to certain schools, agents, and financial advisors. Share this article Share many of the alleged payments to players such as Brian Bowen to the former Louisville recruit who now plays in professionally in Australia, or comparable to the $125,000 being offered by the G League. Bowen was not alone. The families of Phoenix Suns center DeAndre Ayton and Dallas Mavericks guard Dennis Smith Jr were both allegedly offered bribes as well, before they committed to Arizona and N. C State, respectively. What's more, players who opt to go to the G League as opposed to an NCAA school will be free to hire an agent, sell his likeness, and negotiate marketing deals, things that are either restricted or completely forbidden by the NCAA's rules on amateurism. In the fallout of the recruiting scandal, the NCAA announced the formation of the Commission on College Basketball, which is headed by former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, and recommended several changes to collegiate rules. The Commission suggested that certain players be allowed to have contact with agents, but rather than creating a way to pay for top talent, something that many argue would eliminate the need for the improper underground economy, Rice argued that such players might be happier outside of the NCAA. Elite high school players with NBA prospects and no interest in a college degree should not be forced to attend college, often for less than a year, she told the Associated Press. One and done has to go, one way or another. NCAA President Mark Emmert expanded on that following the NBA G League announcement. We appreciate the NBA's decision to provide additional opportunities for those who would like to pursue their dream of playing professionally, read Emirates' statement. The NCAA recently implemented significant reforms to support student-athletes' success, including more flexibility when deciding whether to play professionally. Obtaining a college education continues to provide unmatched preparation for success in life for the majority of student-athletes and remains an excellent path to professional sports for many. However, this change provides another option for those who would prefer not to attend college but want to directly pursue professional basketball. 
the NBA is expected to change the one and done rule before the 2022 season, according to ESPN. The professional path program does face some obstacles in the G League, where the average player is about 25 and makes just $35,000 a year. Physically immature players might resist playing against grown men, many of whom could hold a grudge against a teenager making $90,000 more than they are. A top HS player would be wiser to take a year away with a trainer prior to entering draft than wander into G League with far more fully developed men, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski wrote on Twitter. Most pre-college teens will be overwhelmed there. Wouldn't be a pre-draft showcase. Still, it's an alternative worth examining. Another issue is that most top Division I programs are more like the NBA than the NBA G League, which currently has 27 teams scattered across the country. Rather than the NBA's charter flights, G League teams often use buses or fly commercial. In other words, Duke's highly recruited freshman class of Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett, and Cameron Reddish may have still chosen to join the Blue Devils, even if they had the option of making $125,000. After all, Coach Mike Krzyzewski's program offers first-class accommodations, similar to those in the NBA, regardless of whether the prospects plan on pursuing a degree. I have doubts about how many top players will go this route," Wajnaroksi tweeted. Some, yes. But G League is full of early connecting flights, long bus rides, small gyms. It isn't glamorous. Big time NCAA ball still has the trappings of exposure, packed houses, private jets, According to ESPN, many of the details have yet to be decided officially. However, several of the top high school recruits in the country are currently uncommitted for the 2019-20 season, so if the players wanted to be paid without any risk of scandal or the kind of illegal payments that have been alleged in the ongoing NCAA trial, the G League does offer an interesting alternative. Plus, players will also be offered trainers and developmental coaches, which is another advantage. Whereas a college coach is trying to win at the NCAA level, a developmental coach's goal is to prepare an individual player to compete at the NBA level. Players do have other options, though. Some players, such as ex NBA guard Brandon Jennings, Italy, decided to play overseas rather than attending college for one season. Currently, Bowen plays for the Sydney Kings of Australia's NBL as he hopes to be drafted in the 2019 NBA draft. As Turner told ESPN, the G League does not plan to pursue players who have already committed to colleges 